just uh, give you a little look around here now because uh, after today we got a couple of days of very mild weather coming so it's going to look a lot different than this. I'm going to go a little bit early this morning. Uh, the stars are still showing there a little bit, uh, might be hard to see though. And got a trap right here in Nunning Inland, uh, second trap of the morning. Uh, you know before this, uh, you know, the snow was right up to your guts. We had a couple of days of mild weather and everything is uh, settled down good now and uh, a lot easier for getting around. Well, I must say, nice and uh, peaceful uh, this morning. And right here I got my uh, first Martin. Might be hard to see you. Let's see here. Gosh. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. But uh, I'm putting in the snow there. Yeah, I don't know. Looks pretty dark on the screen in the camera here, but uh, trust me, there's a Merton there. <laughs> yeah, so that's the first one. Uh, fort trap. Trap right there, uh, nunning in. Starting to, to brighten up here now a bit. Uh, and you know, from now on, the days is getting a little bit longer, so... So another month or so, you'll notice a big difference in it. Well, you know, I had a, a Merton deer uh, the first check, and for some reason, I was always uh, expecting to get another one here, but I never. Oh, well. Uh, another empty trap <laughs> yeah I guess uh, a lot of trappers was uh, surprised uh, including myself uh, you know got a little check there from uh, fur harvesters uh, just before Christmas and it uh, looks like they sold some fur through a uh, private uh, treaty sale and uh, you know I really do think that sends a good positive message to the trappers uh, you know the fur is starting to move again and uh, let's hope uh, the worst of it is behind us well just look at that isn't that an awesome sight right there <laughs> Number two, uh, I'm after checking a few traps, you know, uh, but, you know, that's the way trapping goes. Uh, uh, I was going, I was kind of thinking about taking them up today, but uh, so I'll leave me for one more check because we had like a lot of deep, soft snow, and now that it's settled, uh, martens and other animals, probably critters, might be uh, moving around a little more. So, so I'll leave me for one more check, and uh, but the places where I do get merton like this, I'm going to, uh, I'm not going to put in a trap back, just going to take the, the merton and, uh, we just said alone in until next year. Well, you know, I must say, it's a beautiful mountain as well. Uh, nice and dark. Another big land butte. This, uh, I didn't know it until I took the top of the box off, but in this set was one of those de uh, one of those quail that died on me. I used them for bait. So, what I might do, just take that uh, for bait to another set, for another set later on. Well, uh, just a two Merton for the day. I, I didn't get through all the traps. I want to get back a little bit early. Uh, got a little bit of prep work to do. Uh, the father-in-law's in town. He wants to get out for a ptarmigan hunt. So uh, so that's where we'll be at next couple of days. And uh, and after that, when I get a chance, I'll get through the uh, rest of the traps. And uh, and if I get anything else, then I'll bring them all over the shed time at one time and scale them all off together. So. Yeah, well, we had two days of uh, mild weather and rain, so uh, yeah, we lost a lot of the snow that we had, but uh, I can't complain because there's no more on the roof. I had a lot on the roof, and I was really starting to uh, get worried about it. But yeah, it's a big difference. This was banks of snow all along here, but uh, I guess it won't be too much longer. We'll be getting more, all the same. <laughs> Well guys, you know, uh, I never uploaded a video in a while and I didn't get a whole lot of footage uh, from trapping today uh, either. So what I'm going to do is uh, a little while ago, it wasn't real long ago, we were over to Port Sanders. We had to put the boat on dry dock there, do a little bit of work and get the bottom of her inspected. And we came back again and so it took a few days to do. And I told some people I was going to uh, make a video of it, uh, but I didn't get a whole lot of footage of that either. So I'm going to do, I'm actually going to combine that footage with this video, even though this was a little little while ago. And since I come back, I also made some new quail cages, and I'll do a uh, date video on the quail soon as well. But uh, yeah, so a bit of footage here now from uh, when we were on Dry Dock. Hope you enjoy. Cartridges. Only family 
It's our science fair gathering, and it's lots of fun. I really love big family gatherings. Well, 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 that made my day. We really love your submission, William Larkin. Thank you so much for calling our trap line. Well, guys, we just left uh, Port Ob Simpson. Uh, we're going to head to Williams Harbor. We're going to be there for a couple hours, and then we're going to uh, start steaming on for Port Saunders to get the boat on dry dock and do a bit of work with her. We were actually going to leave uh, yesterday, but we had to get some fuel, and the fuel truck was a bit late getting in, and it's calling for uh, a bit of wind up there today. Well guys, we just dropped into uh, Williams Harbor here for a few hours. Uh, well, always good to get back to Williams Harbor. Uh, we're on our way there now. Uh, this is through the harbor here now. We're gonna put our fish in and take our time. Uh, we're not gonna, we're not in no rush. There's a bit of, bit of wind up that way, so uh, take our time, give it a little bit of time for it to drop you up there. And uh, you know, when the night comes from towards the morning, you should get the, uh, get a little better all the time up that way. Well guys, we've been steaming for about 19 hours or so there now, and uh, that's Point Bridge, so we got about another hour in the Port Saunders. Blocker now as they're tweeting in the bolts.
guys, we got our work done here in Port Saunders and uh, getting ready now, hit her back home. Boys with new dams there. Taking a few pictures. Let's see with the bale of hay there in the truck. A little bit hard to see from the 